All right, today we're going to be tearing into a 2008 Honda Rubicon 500. I'm going to show you how to dismantle this motor. Then in a separate video, we will go ahead and put it back together, transmission, crankshaft, and everything. pull the cylinder head cover off here, then we're going to pull the head, we'll pull the water pump assembly off, cylinder oil tank, uh, and then we'll go through, dismantle the, the uh, flywheel and the stator, the clutches. So like I said, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to spin this motor around here so we can see a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and pull this head off here. We've got 10 millimeter bolts up top here, and one of the first things you're going to want to do before you get too terrible far is pull your cam chain tensioner off there. That takes an 8 millimeter. Uh, it's an eight millimeter um, bolts there holding that on. I'm gonna pull this mount off of here, this plastic mount here. And so we can get to that uh, cam chain tension a little easier. Cam tension is out there. Going back together, I'll show you how to do that, but you wanna go ahead and pull that middle screw out and then you've got a screwdriver there that loosen that, that tensioner there. So we've got your water pump assembly there. We've got two bolts that hold that water pump on there. Got your peller inside here. You got your thermostat here. And that'll, I'm gonna leave that in the head there. And then we're gonna go ahead and pull these 10 millimeter bolts off up top there. We've got 14 millimeter bolts. Cylinder head cover is going to come off at this point. Oh, I'm already seeing some damage there. So we've got our push rods that are not in place at all. So push rods there, there's our caps there. Push rods will sit down here where the rockers are into those two positions there. That'll put pressure on those rockers there. and. Uh, on a separate video, I'll show you how to adjust those valves, so make sure and check those out. These caps can just be pulled off at this time, but we can just leave them on there for now. We've got a couple bolts around the outside here of this head. and then we're able just to pull that head off. So we've got um, a gasket that needs to be replaced here. And we'll make sure that that gets cleaned up really good. Take a razor blade or a gasket scraper and scrape that up really well before we go back together. And then there is your cylinder head there. You've got your intake valves here, exhaust valves here. Here's our two caps. We could just push those out just to keep, keep things together. I'm just gonna keep those in there for now. we've got your camshaft here. So I'm gonna, that you can see there, we had that tensioner which comes in from the, the uh, cylinder here, the side of the cylinder here, and that puts pressure on that guide that's down there, which puts pressure on that cam. So right now we've got that cam uh, chain loose. And to get that cam chain off, I just kind of, I, I took both these out and positioned this cam in a place where we could just set that cam chain alongside. If all you're doing is replacing cam or possibly the top end, you don't want to just let this cam chain drop. We're going all the way to the bottom end. So I'm going to let it just drop at this time. And we've got a couple of bolts here that we'll need to loosen up before the cylinder comes off. Got a wire pipe here. We've got O-rings on on each side of this pipe here, this side's stuck. You wanna make sure that those O-rings get replaced with your gasket set. And now it's time to take this cylinder off. You can use a rubber mallet or something to tap on it. You don't wanna use a steel hammer. You wanna be careful, even with a rubber mallet where you tap, uh, right here, you can see there's not a lot of strength, so you want to be really careful you don't tap too hard. I need to make sure that we've... 
this is a good spot here. Um, it's got quite a bit of strength. And then even over here is a good spot. I don't like tapping, and I'll show you. I don't like tapping in this, this spot here, because like I said, not a ton of strength right there. Got that cylinder off now. You can see there is some, a little bit of damage on the inside. Actually, a lot of this can be honed out. It is just discolored there. So cylinders off. We've got our guides here. And your, this guide will be able to come up at this time. We've got our piston there. I'm gonna show you how to remove that piston pin. Take one side, or take a pick here, come in from one side, get behind that clip, and then I take and put my thumb over top. Sometimes you end up poking your thumb, but if all you're doing is replacing top end on these machines, you don't wanna drop that clip down in that motor. So a lot of times what I'll do, if I'm just replacing top end, I will, um, Stick a rag down here, a clean rag, and make sure that, that nothing falls down in there. Now you can take and push that pin out. You don't want to stick something large in there and press on it because what happens is you damage that, uh, that pin running through there. You damage the crank area. So then I like to stick that pin back in here for reusing a piston or something, um, or we just need to keep track of these clips. I take open side of that clip and away from the open side, the away from your groove there, push that in as far as it'll go. Then I kind of keep pressure on it, grab my pick there or even a small screwdriver and then press it in just like that, make sure it sticks all the way around there. So that's a piston. You can see there, it's not scored up at all. That piston's actually in really good condition. Got our crankshaft exposed there. Now I'm gonna take this oil tank off.